Yemai Perek Gimel Mishnah Vav, a very fascinating Mishnah about a person's relationship with his mother-in-law. You know, in the previous Mishnayot, we learned about how much can you trust somebody if you gave a pundikit, you gave your innkeeper dumai, or I'm sorry, produce, is she going to give you back what you gave her or not? Or the one before that, the mission before that, if you take it, send it to the tochen, to the grinder, or you give somebody to watch your fruit. Okay, but the, the, this Mishnah, Mishnah Vav, is fascinating because now we're going to talk about something else. Let's say a person, uh, uh, I'm a chaver, okay, and it turns out that my mother-in-law is uh, from a family of Amaret. So I am happy to be, that's not true. My mother-in-law is not from a family of Amaret. They're for the, for the for the most meticulous elements of Trumot and Masrot in uh, New Jersey. But nonetheless, what happens when Hanotein Lechamoto, I give grain to my mother-in-law, so can I trust her that what she's going to give me back is what I gave her or not? And the answer is no for a fascinating reason. It says the Mishnah, Hanotein Lechamoto, if you give your mother-in-law grain and she's going to bake you bread, whatever, she gives you bread. So I, of course, I'm a chaver. You know, it's, just, it's fascinating because even in today's age, it is so real. This is so actual about a person you know, let's say a person becomes a Balchuva, and now his wife's family, and they're going to his mother-in-law, and she doesn't keep all the dinim, and you know, it's just a fascinating reality that was clearly a reality in the time of the Mishnah as well. So, ma'aser et shihu no la, you have to take off ma'aser from what he gives her, meaning you have to give her peyrod metukanim ma'machaver. I can't let any non peyrod metukanim, non ma'aser produce come out from under my hands. I have to give her produce that ma'asro, trumot and ma'asro were taken off even from demai. So therefore, ma'aser etu noten la, ve'et shehu notel mi mena, and I also have to be ma'aser that what I get back from her. Meaning, she is chashuda, we concern that she's going to be machlifa, she's going to switch what she gave. Why? Bibnei shi chashuda lechalef et hamit kalkel. We are concerned, she is chashuda, we are concerned, she's going to switch hamit kalkel. Let's say you give her a bunch of grain, and some of the grain isn't so nice, or you give her here, you know, mom, lima, I, got, I gave you some carrots, can you make me some carrot soup? And she looks at the carrots and, you know, they're not such great carrots that you bought, but she's got great carrots in the refrigerator. You know, a mother-in-law wants to please her son-in-law, says the, says the, says the Bartunura, Amit Kalkel, Pat o Tavshil Shinit Kalkel. You're going to give you, you're going to, she's going to, afraid that something went bad. So you're going to give her something that went bad. She's going to switch it to give you something good in order to please you. Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Ratzahi betakanat bita ubosha mi chatana. So the Bartunura explains, let's see the Bartunura for a second. The whole thing is Rabbi Yehuda, and this, this Rabbi Yehuda is explaining what he means. Because she is chashud, she is suspect that she's going to switch that which went bad. Why? Rabbi Yehuda says she's worried about her daughter. She wants her daughter to be in good standing with her son-in-law. Bosha mechatana. Bosha means she's embarrassed, but it's not that she's embarrassed necessarily. She doesn't want to serve him bad food. He gave her bad carrots. She's going to cook the food. It's going to come out bad. No way. She wants her son-in-law to have the best. Therefore, she's going to say, I'll take carrots from my refrigerator, give him my carrots. The only problem is, she's an Amaretz. They're not Choshesh for Demai. So therefore, even though he gave her Peru Metukanim, he has to, he has to give her back, uh, he has to also take her from Aser on the food that she gives him back. Modi Rabbi Yehuda ben Oten lechamoto shvi'id, sheina chashuda lachil lachlif lachilat bita shvi'id. Rabbi Yehuda says that if he gives her peirot from shnat shmita, okay, that came from hefker, that if he gives her from meaning obviously he has peirot from shvi'id that were mutar because he's very meticulous about shvi'id, and if she's not careful about shvi'id, she's eina chashuda lachilat bita shvi'id. She's not going to serve her daughter shvi'id, i.e., that she's not. She is not careful about Shvi'it. She buys fruits that are forbidden on Shvi'it. Okay? Why? Because even Ameha Aretz were concerned about Shvi'it. And it was, to them, it was more sincere. The Kahati says, Ishur Shvi'it Chamur La Ma'aretz Misur Tevel. That they, they were more concerned about, about Shvi'it. So she understood that it was something that was more concerning to her son in law, so she wouldn't switch it, even if she felt that she had better carrots in the refrigerator. And for this reason, uh, you don't have to worry that something was switched out, and you can eat the food that she gives you, uh, that she made from what you gave her. Okay, I want to dedicate this learning, as always, to the memory of my father, Harav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalma. And if you have any comments or questions, email me, rspolter at gmail.com. Have a great day.